it's a new day. The New York Giants, you see the news, they have a new head coach, Brian Dable, in the fold with the Giants. Gotta say, as an Eagles fan, I'm kind of not happy about this. Very good offensive coordinator with the Bills. You know, the Bills fell short in their game against the Chiefs. That, I don't know, that back and forth game is just crazy. But it wasn't because Brian Dable and that offense didn't get it done. And he's going to bring a lot of experience, a lot of know-how, a lot of charisma to this Giants locker room. Looking at his resume, he has a lot of NFL experience. Was here for the Belichick years, the first time for the first three rings in New England. He was with the Alabama Tide under Nick Saban. And I'll tell you this much, Jalen Hurts is very familiar with Brian Dable because he was there during the championship run. He coached up Tua and Jalen Hurts. And then he was also with the Patriots during the second stint when he got two rings. And then he came back after the Alabama time with Nick Saban and then went to the New York, to the um, Buffalo Bills. And really, let's be honest, he coached Josh Allen up a quarterback who was thought to be a project coming out of college. A project. Raw talent, could run the ball, do all these things, but nobody really knew what he was going to be. And he really took him and molded him into the quarterback he is today, in my opinion. And that's a pretty damn good quarterback. You look at what Allen was able to do in 2020 in Dable's third season with the Bills, set numerous passing records for the Bills, the whole offense was much better. They finished second in scoring that year, 31.3 points per game. And he finished with 13 wins for the first time since 91. And I believe that was the beginning of the four-peat, which none of the Bills fans want to remember. However, it was still one of the greatest times in football history, honestly. For a team that never won the Super Bowl, they were one of the greatest dynasties that I've ever seen. You know, you're talking about Jim Kelly. Andre Reid, uh, Thurman Thomas, Bruce Smith. I mean, they were just, they were phenomenal, right? And they are just now getting back to a similar stratosphere of greatness that they saw back in the early to mid-90s. And they won a first division title and playoff game since 95. To me, they were the clear-cut, one of the clear-cut favorites in the AFC. Between them, the Chiefs, and honestly, the dark horse for me right now, and we're going to see that game tomorrow, well, actually today, excuse me, between the Chiefs and the Bengals. Those three teams are the ones that stuck out to me in the AFC this year. So Brian Dable coming over from a very good stint with the Bills, and he has a lot of experience leading up to that. He's going to be, I think he's a leader of men. And and we're going to, we're going to find out when the tire hits the road, what the deal is. However, he took Josh Allen, he took that offense and made them into a force to be reckoned with. Nobody saw the Bills coming two years ago. We just thought, hey, Josh Allen can run around a little bit. He can do a little razzle-dazzle here and there. He makes some boneheaded plays, but he can kill you with his legs here and there. But we never thought that this offense would be what it was, let alone get Stephon Diggs and be able to make that team into a force. Because think about it. Stephon Diggs on the Vikings, yeah, they were a good team, but they were nowhere near the level of offense that this Bills offense is. They just weren't, okay? Case Keenum, Kirk Cousins don't matter. Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs, they're a different animal. And it's one thing to have Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen and they just be average. It's another thing to have Josh Allen actually be able to make the plays, make the proper reads, make the throws, be able to ad-lib on the fly. That's what made him different. So, and that doesn't just come from him drawing up plays in the sand and him running around. No, Dable coached him up. He really made him pick his game up to a different level. So... It's going to be very interesting to see what the Giants do. Because think about it. If Dable was able to do that with that Bills team who had no run game. No run game. 
between Frank Gore, Singletary, uh, Zach Moss, a, a bunch of guys. They were able to be that effective. They have Saquon Barkley in New York. And the question is, who is going to be at quarterback? Daniel Jones is not the answer. However, they have the number five pick in the draft. Who is Dable going to want to pick in the first round? Maybe they get a quarterback and give him his guy that he can grow and bring up on his own. So one guy that sticks out, and I'm kind of looking at some prospects here, Malik Willis, quarterback out of Liberty. And the one nine on him is Willis doesn't need to start instantly, but provides competition and a long-term vision at the game's most vital position. So he doesn't need to be perfect, just like we saw with Josh Allen. He just needs to bring the intangibles that you can't coach. So I don't want to see the Giants get any help in any way, shape, or form, but I think this is an excellent pickup, an excellent hire. He actually refused to interview with the Eagles last year. Yes, yes, last year um, during the job search when we got Nick Sirianni. So he's in a situation he wants to be in. So, hey, man, things are shaking up in the NFC East already in the offseason. More news to come. We'll be talking about the Cowboys as well because I'm not so sure Zeke will be back on the last year of that three-year $90 million contract. And you know with that $18 million cap hip, that they're not going to want to bring him back. He played good. He wasn't bad this year. He was he was pretty good, but not for that salary. So he's probably going to be gone. A lot of things to talk about, but that's for another episode. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you got something out of this, and I'll be back at you with more news. We'll be talking about the TB12 being out of here as well on the next episode. All right.